Do-it-yourself, self-service for your Motorola phone. If your Motorola phone doesn't behave as expected, you can always consult the manual or look for help online, or you can call an agent for help. But if you would like to take matters into your own hands and learn to troubleshoot your own phone, we can help. This is the first of four short videos that can teach you troubleshooting steps any good support agent knows. If you would like to learn the basics of Android problem solving, this is a great beginning. This first video has the easy things. It gets more complicated as we go. Let's get started. The very first thing to try if your phone is not working correctly is to turn the phone off and back on again. This is the simplest thing to try. A high percentage of problems are eliminated by this simple step and many never happen again. But what if your phone is frozen and won't respond to a button push or the touch of the screen? How can you turn it off? On older phones, you could remove the battery and reinsert it, but there is no removable battery for many newer Motorola phones. This is where the hard reset comes in handy. Press and hold the physical power button for up to 10 seconds until the phone restarts. It's that simple. A hard reset can even help if the phone is not frozen, after a normal power cycle fails to solve an issue. It's also useful if your battery reading is off and you want to recalibrate your battery. To do this, perform a hard reset, then plug in your phone and let it fully charge to 100%. Now, leave it on the charger for an additional hour or two. This will recalibrate the battery meter. If your problem is a misbehaving app, there are a couple of other easy things you can try. First, try simply restarting the app. Touch the Recent button and you will find all the apps running in the background. Drag an app screen to the left or right to shut it down. Then restart it and see if the problem is gone. Second, reset any changes you've made to your apps. Swipe down twice to open the notification bar and touch Settings. Then touch Apps. Then touch the menu icon on the top right of the screen. Touch Reset App Preferences. If you've made changes that are causing problems, this should correct them. Don't worry, the app data will not be erased. Another common reason for app and general operational problems is low memory. If you take a lot of photos or download music, you may fill your phone's memory. As a result, apps may not load or you may find you can't take videos or photos. We recommend that you leave at least 15% of your memory free so your phone can operate smoothly. In fact, you may be low on memory even though you don't get a system warning. To check available memory, go to Settings, then Storage in USB, and Internal Storage. If your memory is getting full, you can free up some space in the following ways. First, you can remove apps. You can back up photos and other media to a computer or to the cloud and then delete them from your phone. And on some phones, you can take advantage of an SD card and add memory to free up your phone's internal memory. If these steps don't solve your problem, the next recommended step is to clear your cache. We'll explain that in our second video.